Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Kenyans have been paying through the nose after the price of sugar went through the roof due to reduced local production and expensive importation. With all this, we are seeing that the cabinet is planning next week to discuss drastic reforms to revive the ailing sugar subsector. And uh, as all this is going on, again, Ruto's government has issued traders with a license to import sugar from outside. With that, they want to deal with the issue of the skyrocketing price of sugar in this country. Because as of now, the price of sugar for one kg is going around 250 225 to 250 shillings. That's how it is retailing. And with all uh, I pray the government is taking to deal with the issue of high cost of sugar. The only thing they put on table is importation. And that's what uh, Ruto said during an interview. Now that we have ascertained that there isn't a sufficient supply of sugar in Comesa area, we are looking elsewhere around the world and we expect fresh stock of sugar to, to come into the country within the next one or two weeks. That was, that was William Root. But then with this statement, some time back when Root visited Kakamega County, there was something Kilafas Marada told the sugarcane farmers because now Western region is the area where uh, this country used to get sugar from. And Malala was very clear in his speech that the president in his finance bill, he has made sure that he's putting more tax on importation of sugar to allow local farmers to thrive in the business so that they can now have market locally. That means Ruto was blocking the sugar from outside so that farmers can earn more here and produce more. So they were encouraging farmers to produce more. The question was, how really is Ruto helping local farmers to produce more so that the consumer is getting sugar at affordable price and also the producers also are getting their share without going? That was the question. Listen to Malala shortly. Industrialization yetu ya Kakamega ni maneno ya miwa. Kwa hiyo budget statement na ni vizuri wananchi wa Kakamega wajue president ametupangia maneno kwa maneno ya miwa, ameongeza ushuru kwa wale watu wanatoa miwa inje, eh, inje. The local factories zetu hapa ziweze fanya kazi vizuri. And thank you so much your excellence. Mimi na kuomba kwa niaba ya watu wa Kakamega tuko na factory yetu ya Mumias. Najua tumekuomba sana. Sana. Hii factory ya Mumias story imekuwa mingi kabisa. Sisi wanasiasa kila wakati tukitaka kuanza watu wanaleta vitina ndani. Your Excellency, sasa hivi wakati ya campaign walikuja wakatupatia investor kwa mwinua mkono pale stadium. Wakasema huyu atafufua miwa. Paka sasa hivi Your Excellency Mumias haifanyi kazi. Mimi ningependa kukuomba chukua nafasi Fanya chochote ambacho unaweza fanya. Usiconsult hata sisi waheshimiwa kwa sababu sisi ndio tunaleta siasa kwa hii Mumias. Do what you can. Mumias shule ikaanza kufanya kazi watu wetu watapata ajira ya kutosha. Mimi na kuomba hiyo. Tuudie barabara lakini Mumias. Fanya chini unataka. Tafadhali. Kazi hii sio ile sasa. Tunataka tuone Mumias ikifanya kazi. Mimi nataka ku prepare the whole thing tupeleke bunge now, as we continue with this panel and discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and uh, you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our channel subscribers, Master, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, last year, the government opened a window for traders to import 100,000 metric ton of sugar, duty free in this country. But this never helped the consumer to get sugar at a fair price. That means affordable. 
Again, government also allowed the Kenya National Trade Corporation to ship in 200 metric tons of sugar duty free for one year. Still, the consumer never enjoyed. That means cartels are in business. They don't pay tax, they bring sugar here, they put the price high, and they kill a profit. In all this, for one year, Ruta has been a power. There is no how the local sugarcane farmers have been empowered to produce more so that the sugar can be produced locally here. And local manufacturers can also have a chance. What is happening is all about opening a window for cartels to import sugar in this country. Because even after removing taxes, you bring duty free. Still, sugar has been retailing at a very high price. And what Manala has been saying, today the people of Kakamega, Transoya, Bungoma, and other areas, including parts of Kisum, they are now aware that there is no end plan in this government to help local farmers so that they can improve in production and have, because when you say you are blocking people to import sugar so that now local farmers can have market, then how are you empowering them? Uliwapea mbolea nisiri ni uliwapea ama ni miwayawe nanulia kwa muda mbao nafa sometime even they don't sell their sugar they, they don't get payment of their sugar timely Mpata mtu alipeleka miwa kwa kampuni. Imekaa muda mrefu hawajalipa. What is happening in this factory is that people are importing sugar here. They only come here to refine this sugar and package. Then they bring it to the market and tell you some will even put it to look like it is locally manufactured. When we know very well that there is nothing happening in these factories. So we are seeing it a president who is allowing those brokers to have a day of importing sugar in this country and make profit. But in all this, there is nowhere farmer is protected nor even empowered. So Ruto said, if he become the president, Mia Sugar Company is going to be revived. He said, we will see smoke. Now is one year there is no smoke. The same way he lost in Kakamega in, in, in 2023 general election, he's going to lose again. Because then the only thing that he was using to get what from the Luya people, it was the issue of Mias Sugar Company, Nzoya Sugar Company, then Akienda Nyanza region, Anangia Kusu, Sony, and other things. But today, we are seeing people who are coming out with more rhetoric issues without bringing a solution to the people, but giving a chance to cartels to enjoy importation of sugar here. That's why the mambo malala likuwa mambia watu kakamega iko wapi. Kwa mpango yote nyeruta amealakicha kuleta sugar, sukari hapa, ni mpano gani ametua hata moja kwa hii wakamzima kusaidia mkulima wa miwa. Wala wako western, wala wako nyanza. The only thing we are seeing here is that Ruto want to kill the economic backbone of the Lembe Nation and the part of Nyanza. What has been bringing money for you? Because once you allow importation is coming in and you don't empower the local farmers, there's no way these people will have even a better market for their produce. Because the sugar they bring here well, even in some of the areas they go, they are being given free. Kuna watu wengine, their end product is sukari. Ni mitu zengine. Hii sukari ni west. So they are being given, ata ni kama ya kudamp, na yengine wanawuzo kwa beya chini. Then when they bring here, they put very high price because they want an a profit. And in that way, when the, the sugar is flooding this country, it shall flood, it shall flood. 
mkulima wa kawaida atapata wapi sukari sasa ile yenye production here is expensive ndio producer leta kwa market hapa au akiona yenye imeanza kukua wanarudisha yao chini so inakuwa retailer at cheaper price wakiona biashara yake imekufa wanapandisha juu so they make sure that they are killing local farmers mkiwa nayo yao wameshukisha kama amuna wanapandisha juu na hii ndio serikali ya William Samoe Ruto ile kitu malala aliwaambia watu wa Kakamega ilikuwa hot air now we are seeing no plan they are, they are just planning to discuss they want to discuss on how to revive sugar sector but no tangible solution to the farmers sasa importation iko hapa sukari inakuja it will flood mkipanda miwa yenu mkipeleka kule haitakuwa na market sababu hata hao watu wako kwa nikatels wanataka tu sukari kwe inakuja wanapeleka kwa hiyo uh, factories then from there wanafanya refining wanaanza ku package in our brand here and they started, started retailing it in supermarkets 